The what they did during the AppSumo launch is irreparable for me. Hey, Justin. Hey, Justin, thanks for joining me, man. No, that's not really him. Uh, that's not him at all. Hello, hello, hello. Look, it's Justin Mitchell, the guy, a wonderful friend for the last few years. Um, we met during the no code revolution, you call it. And sorry. Hey, everybody, welcome to the not, the not boring biz. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Jeremy Redmond. Dave, leave this in here all unedited. <sighs> The announcement was that we're going to bring back some of the Not Boring Business interviews, right? Uh, with our podcast, Not Boring Business. We're going to bring back some interviews under the Not Boring Business uh, brand on a playlist here on this channel. Um, and we're going to bring in founders who make money, who like deals, who make product and sell it, right? Kind of up this stream of the LTD um stream i know it's got some detractors right and it's got people that are, and it's it's so curious to me and we dive in about this this is justin mitchell the co-founder of yak that's how i know him um he raised like over 10 million dollars in venture capital from tier one from a tier one as well right justin oh my god this looks so real this looks like he's on there I, I actually, for a split second, I thought it was I could speak with him there. But we're gonna cut to that interview in a second. And I wanna bring more of these interviews, people who build products and sell them. It is so important that like the detractors of, we, we talk about this, about how AppSumo is sometimes looked as negative and positive. And I, while there are certain people, and we've gone over this, that are just like not terrific people in that group, about 20%, as I put it. The 80% of people who we've worked hard to retain in our community are so wonderful and loving and give great feedback um, and hopefully getting great value out of the money they put forth. And some of the detractors, and we kind of go into this every time I look, I think, okay, our tier four was our most popular tier and it was 500 bucks. Okay, and if I don't take it lightly that you spent $500 on this, and not at all, not at all. for I don't care if it's for life or not or whatever. I don't expect anyone who buys an LTD to convert to anything. I don't expect that at all. But to, to even get someone to buy something that is four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a thousand dollars that's a lot of money to anybody in any country. So to get that, that is a, a version of market pull. So I love that. If you're willing to put in your, how many startups don't get to that level where you build a product where someone values it enough? So one, if you value Task Magic, give a thumbs, give a thumbs up. I need the thumbs up in here. If you're an AppSumo link, say hi. If you're an LTD or say hi, if you just like what we're doing here, say hi, please. So just say hi, <laughs> emoji wave, or say something about the video if you like the interview. So we're gonna start rolling these out. Justin and I talk about uh, the LTD landscape, attacking Zapier, um, and a couple strategies to do it. And in one point in the interview, he mentions that we should give a... F <laughs> well, you have to look, you have to look, you have to look at what he says in there. Okay, so. Look forward to hearing you on the uh, on the other side. How you doing, dude? What's going on, bro? Um, I'm 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 living, man. I'm living. I've been watching your content. Your content's awesome. I love the videos. Will, will you come on? Yeah, anytime, of course. Dude, of course. Next week, then. Next week. If it's or at the end of the week, yes, because I am actually taking the first vacation of my life. Wow. Monday, wow. Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow, congrats. Where are you going? Uh, so going down to Key Largo, we got a uh, all-inclusive resort um, going with another uh, couple friend. Um, so it'll and no kids. It'll just be us <sighs> drinking and chilling by the pool. So I'm, I'm excited to actually take some time off for once. Dude, I've wanted to go to the Keys. I've wanted to just go there. Like one time I think I did like 
a cruise or something and it stopped in Key West yeah. or something. But like I've wanted to like go to the Key, like actually go there. I've lived in Florida my whole life and I've never been to the Keys. No so. Nope, never. My friends used to go all the time and I've never been. By the way, your camera, you look f flawless. It's a, it's a nice camera setup. Holy fucking sh Just like looking at you, like you're centered, bro. I'm just on my like computer camera in your oh, like yes. shirt. so this is dslr and then i got two elgato key lights and then i have uh here's my setup me. so i mean dude your studio setup for your videos is great i love like the the actual yeah. like background and stuff like it's really like clean looking dude like we grew youtube double subs in like the last like three months yeah and it's like i just released a video that was like our first ever affiliate, dude. Our first ever real affiliate was just like this person made a thousand dollars overnight. Wow. Like I woke up and there were like 18 Stripe transactions and I go, no, what was this? And yeah. then I got an additional like emails that this person got 30%, 30%, 30. And I'm like, what did they do? So I just made this video that like he he took my YouTube videos, dubbed them in his language, Japanese. Oh, interesting. And put an affiliate link and it was just like people bought. That's crazy. So like and I go, uh that's great. Dude, like that one is of, one of the things that Mr. Beast always says is um, if you want to grow your YouTube, all you have to do is hire a translation service and just have it dubbed in every major language. And he well, just releases first, all the videos on his own channel. Well, he that's has, what that's what this he has like a Mr. Beast Spanish, Mr. Beast German, Mr. Beast oh, French. Dude, well, that's that's what we're not doing because he's matching us view for view. Mm -hmm. So it's like he's taking your views though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, but I mean, and I'm not. I'm not like bought heard about it because he just. No, brought, I mean it's not a bad thing. Yeah, he just brought in literally, literally. It is your cost to have hired someone else to do that, and you guarantee a sale to do it anyway because yeah. you're like. Yeah, and I was just like, ah, oh, it just spreads the brand of the tool and whatever else. Yeah, you know. So, um, what, what did you see? We launched on AppSumo. I was gonna say. So you said AppSumo did really well for you, dude. So many people told me not to do it. Like, it is a 50-50 split. It either devalues your brand or it skyrockets your brand. Like, there's no other way yeah. around. And so, what's, I'm glad that it was a positive for you. Well, what's funny, dude, is, like, I've never had more fun in my life but been more stressed. So, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> we, like people we've met in AppSumo, like, this, this YouTube person came in. He was AppSumo, bought on AppSumo, asked if he could dub the videos. Nice. Then asked if he could get affiliate revenue. And I'm like, I've never been so lucky as a creator in my life because we said we were doing YouTube support. So like our subs went from 1,500, 1,800 to 3,400, literally within two months. Wow. Like views, engagement. We just released this video. It's got almost 100 views and 20 comments. You're like, I've never felt more empowered as a creator and then what's the next thing they say they say ltd people won't buy subscriptions after and i'm like nope it's you've got hundreds of people yeah. to buy the subscription after these people dude i don't care who you are 500 dollars is a lot of money absolutely to buy a lot of money so how dude, much do you end up paying app sumo they take 50 percent Wow. Yeah. Hey, so, like, you know, and, not bad. They made out and you made out. Dude, they pay affiliates. The Their promo codes, they run Instagram ads and Google right. ads. Yeah. They do advertising. We paid nothing at all to anyone. Mm. Like, we just connected with their API. They see people can activate and do whatever. And, like, they vetted it a little bit. Dude, how much money would you have to pay for their? two million plus reach yeah, yeah. So i might be able to hire you for some stuff now that we have some cash okay i'm i will always say yes yeah 
So um, what's funny, dude, is like, and one, are can you help with marketing stuff? I'm curious. I mean, as far as it goes with like um, execution or, or like actually running the stuff, no, like, but when it comes to, you know, growth hacking ideas and referral campaigns and stuff like that, happy to. Dude, I'm, so here's where I'm at with it all. And like, this is why, uh, and we can talk about uh, the like working like later, but like, I, like, uh, I want to finish this absolute thing with you. Um, I don't have many old friends from the no code days, mm. like for the last like three years, like, and to be honest with you, I hate them. Mm. I hate it all. Like they, they don't do a fraction of what I do and they just judge. Right. It's like, they'll be the first to go. You shouldn't do app sumo. Yeah. And, uh, and while they're sitting there working for someone else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I've never bought anything from AppSumo. I barely knew what it was, right? I've bought a couple of things. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't. I I think I bought one thing, never used it, but never asked for a refund. I am, I am addicted to lifetime deals if I can get them. Oh, I'll are just you? buy them even if I'll never use them. Wow. It's like a thing. I, uh, you're, are you really one of those? I'm I'm a I'm a deal seeker. So if I see like a good deal, like if it's just a high deal, even if like I don't even need it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Okay. So um, so I didn't know anything about this LTD community. Yeah, I it's a pretty big community. There's a couple of Facebook groups I'm in. Like, there's a Reddit. Yeah. Dude, there is. And we were in a couple of these groups, and it started really horrible for us. And then, like, Noah Kagan stepped in and was like, yeah, like, we didn't know that, like, when we tell our previous community to be like, buy this and review it. Like that's what that's our directive was to them, right? Yeah. That they went in and did it, and then they were like the other app sumo people were like, "Spammy, this is crap, this is whatever," and like we ended up winning more loyalty because like what I'm learning from the LTD community is more most people launch on app sumo is like a last ditch cash grab or so, to stay alive or something. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why I'm saying it, it, it's either 50 50, right? It's either you're going out and you just you need something to help pay off bad debt a lot of times or recoup money for investors. A lot of times startups will do that. Really? Oh. They can legitimately get some sales off of it. Like I've seen it both ways. I've wow. seen companies that are dying and are trying to like just even out at the very end. And I've seen companies that use it as an initial windfall to get customers. That dude, my thing was very selfish because I wanted YouTube subs, right? So like I wanted engagement, I wanted shares. So like pushing people to that, and it worked. So there was this guy that um, I was partnered with. So first off, when you do referrals, do you give any discount on a referral code, like to the customer? Dude, I was just thinking about that. So like I was just going like, we already give thirty percent for the to the affiliate. Yeah. But what we could do is like a twenty twenty. Yeah. So I was gonna say twenty and ten or something like that if you yeah. wanted to keep it the same. Um, yeah. So I usually ask for like a 20% discount when I'm, you know, doing this for, for my site. So I have a referral website that I run that gets crazy traffic. I think you do so, so much. A code and I'll post the link on my site and it'll just be free traffic because I don't charge oh. anything for it. Oh, so I have, we have to make like a, Hey, use this. Like yeah. So it's get syrup.com. So you could do like uh syrup <laughs> is the code or something like that. You must have like a lot of bandwidth in your head just to just it's to, in my head. It's not yeah, in, my yeah. mind. Like, it's in my head. Right. So it's like, because for me, I'm like, those those are the things where you're like, like you see, oh, you should you can passively start a t-shirt club, right? Or whatever. Yeah. You can automate the fulfillment and automate all this stuff. And yep. you, you make one design like an hour a month. You spend yep. like a one or two hours a month on something. You make a new design that month on Canva, whatever. And then you automate the rest, right? Task magic. So I, w I want to do this for uh, kids coloring books. Oh, uh, seriously? You AI to it. generate the coloring book, but allow parents to go on a website. Oh, coloring books not pick, sure. Like a template that they, they just print at home. So they just print it on their printer at home. Um, and they have like custom coloring books for their kids. And it'll just sit there and make money. No, you know, they won't require me to do anything. I like that a lot of your stuff is like children focused and foster focused. And yeah, like, 
I'm doing, I'm doing, so I'm, I'm building an AI right now to um, handle all transportation requests for foster kids. So um, I've got a case management company that will start trialing that next month. You are a f- saint. It's Has anyone something told you passionate that about today? I'm enjoying what I'm doing. The, the fact that you do that and enjoy it and like sometimes, dude, my goodness stops at like stepdad. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't even think I could be a stepdad quite honestly, and take care of someone else's. Dude, you are a f- saint. I, like, I, I try and put my stuff to, to good use. You really you really do. I wish I. Well, I guess that's what I'm thinking, man, is like. I am so focused on making this a mon- a monumental success. It takes everything I have, but I wish I had like the. Well, I, I tell I was, you what, man. There is an automation project I'm working on with the foster system. If I can ever get them to approve it, just give me a coupon code and we'll use you guys. Um, gonna, actually, gonna, the gonna, desktop gonna... app would be what we would use because they want to avoid the cloud. Okay. Um, but they need essentially all of the kids' stuff to be uploaded into this really horrible old government system. Okay. Um, and we're trying to remove human error. So, like, it needs to be, like, basically auto input into the machine because oh. right now people are, like, mistyping Social Security numbers and, like, copy-pasting incorrectly. Oh, wow. okay. And because they have to enter it into their system first, and then they have to enter it into the government system. And when it gets into um, the government system... It's like input incorrectly all the time. Um, oh, yeah. So we could automate that just with the desktop app. So I saw your video on coming after Zapier. Yes. So that is the reason why we're here. Okay. So, um, so I didn't know there was so much hatred for Zapier. Um, I did not know that. So like, what's funny is uh, my three or four videos on Zapier that we just talked about Zapier. It's now become my entire life. Personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It has become the, what they did during the AppSumo launch is irreparable for me. Like, yeah. I remember I was sitting here. What, 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 was, what was the logic? Like, did they tell you why? Like, it had yeah, been something that triggered they said, it. We don't allow competitors in our app store. And yeah. I said, uh, and I, I put the email in one of the videos, but like, um, it was, dude, I go, they took us out though. Like we were pushing an update and I remember Kyle was right on the other side of this w- wall. And I go, what do you mean? They took us out. It was the second, it was like the first or second day they took our app, like that we launched on AppSumo. And Not I cool. can't, I can't tell you the stress of the first week of launching like that. On top of going, oh yeah, and you don't have Zapier connected. And here was my thought: is and we appealed it, and they denied it again. We appealed wow. it with this one. We know other browser automation things that you've worked with, right? Said mm. that. Yeah. Here's the funny thing: one of those was also in YC, so I don't know if that was a little. Oh, like, I'm sure. Oh, I, I would 100 percent assume that that is true. Sure. So we thought, well, all right, you, know, you, you got to get into the club, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like, and I go, okay, so that's fine. Um, and, but the, when we appealed it, I actually said, Hey, um, we, we want to, you can you Zapier does not do browser automation. They do not do it. Right. We're not competitive on that front. We're not API based. We weren't at the time we were not. Yeah. So I said, our hope is that you will trigger or connect with Zapier and then run us in between. And th- like, we're still pushing people to Zapier. Right. It's adding uh, business to you. So like, right. why do you even care? Yeah. Right. We are not API automation. They wrote back and said, go f- yourself. Literally again, after saying that and going through the doing whatever. Crazy. So then I was like, okay, f- you guys. And like, I started just going, all right, we're just going to lean into this. We're just going to yeah. lean into it. And it's now it's like, then we implemented an open sourced AP, like a open sourced um, API uh, uh, connector. 
right? That will like, so you can browser record and connect via APIs just like Zapier. It's just a clone of Zapier. And you're like, oh yeah, because remember what you guys do is the easy dumb shit. You yeah. connect apps via API and still have a ton of bugs. Like yeah. we can do, we can fuck up that. So it's like really quick. So we yeah. just took this open source repo with an MIT license. We're free to do whatever we want with it. Implemented it. Now you can do browser-based, API-based. And what we're going to do, I think, is I think we're going to get these server costs down as far, 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 far as we can and just do a f***ing $5 a month and we'll move your f***ing apps over for free. I will for five, just because it makes me feel great Oh, yeah. Vindication there. Vindication. I will drive myself. In. I will hire people just to steal people from you. Yeah. Like, if I say, they're not loyal to you. No. Like, if I say you can do the same thing for $5 a month, paths, conditions, what? Oh, and you can have unlimited runs on your laptop, and, and it will go back and forth. If your laptop's open, it'll run here. If it's if you're if it's closed, it will run on the cloud and it will go back and forth. So now like, have you, have you talked to Integramat or Make as they're called now? So here is someone who doesn't get on my bad side. So we googled Task Magic or whatever, and we found out that Pably made a Task Magic app and put it in their store. Mm. So I'm like, we we didn't even do that. Like that's, that's great. Awesome. And I go, yes, that is how it's done. Yeah, so like, absolutely. Like they had, we didn't even do anything. Zapier makes you do all the heavy lifting anyway. Yeah. So like, and I go, no, you guys. Yeah, Zapier is the most like genius business model at the end of the day. Hey, we need you to do the it work. Is. Yeah. And then we'll just, we will be, you know, the site that just puts it up there. It's like, correct, correct. Right. So you guys do nothing in this equation. Like we handle <laughs> all of the work. <laughs> Yeah, like, man. The value like, prop here is high. <laughs> literally, it is a it is the greatest business model, and that's why they have that's why they that's their first mover advantage, right? Yeah. That's great. But my last mover advantage is I will I will bottom feed the sh out of it. I will go anyone from anywhere from Uganda to Pakistan to India to. Lansing, Michigan to <laughs> Sault Ste. Marie, man. Yeah. Everybody can afford five bucks. Yeah. So go, great. Five dollars a month for something. Yes, everyone in those areas can do five bucks. If you can if you can go to AppSumo and spend 69 or 70 once, yeah. that is two years at five. I will so lovingly do that. Like just because I'm like, great. We'll get ten. We'll get a million people to give us five. But that's fine. Versus the whatever, and then we'll we'll put them all to YouTube. YouTube support grow YouTube. What you what you got to do is uh, give them the first month free if they screenshot their zap your cancellation. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Send oh! us your your cancellation email, and we'll give oh! you a month. <laughs> bro, bro. That's brutal. That's really putting the uh, line in the sand. But oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm doing. I'm gonna patch up a couple of things. We're gonna do a couple of things. Like um. Oh my god, I'm doing that. We will give you your. For, oh my god. See what's funny though, dude, is like we have this little app sumo seed cash now, yeah. right? So like we're not hurting at all. We can flexibility. Yeah. Like yeah. it is funny to go like, ah, we can take a little money, a couple hits going like first month free. If you screenshot your, <laughs> Oh, bro. I love this. Yeah. So war on Ep war on Zapier. I think it's our hugest go-to market. Here's the advice I need from you. Cause you still own stock in here. Um, how do I get that out smartly? How do I go from where we're at right? That is the go-to market for me. We've got cash in the bank. We've got a little marketing spend we can do, right? Like it can't be much marketing if it's only, if it's really cheap, you know, if it's too cheap. But like, 
hot like we could pay like an influencer 500 like 10 influencers 500 bucks to like spread word in a campaign yeah i mean tiktok influencers would be one way to do it um you know the other thing that i would do is you know if you've got this kind of like ltd community that's already around you find other ones that aren't AppSumo. um okay. especially with black friday coming up um there's oh, like a right. bunch of people that will do black friday ltd deals and okay. so like as, as long as you can kind of like get into their community there are a couple facebook groups like um and they're pretty good numbers um they had offered us um you know when i was at yak to do some uh some stuff there and so like it was pretty impressive numbers that they've got together so it's good communities if you could throw in some sort of thing like lifetime deals a lot of times you can squeeze the logic a little bit and instead of making it like 69 dollars forever you can make it like five dollars a month forever until we move it to ten dollars a month right oh, so like lock in your price right yeah, so it's like sort of a lifetime deal but yeah. Really, you're just like locking, like, like grandfathering the men. Yeah, so it's like, so yeah, for me, it was like we talked, I talked with one other person that was like, if you release this, like up it to a thousand, you will sell two to 300. He didn't even mention Black Friday, but he was like, you'll sell two to 300. You just do a webinar in this community. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing in this community. I like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I didn't, I don't know these things. Like what community would I go after if I were you, if, if you I mean, were me? So there's probably, there's two that I would typically chase. One would be like something similar to what I'm doing with Get Syrup. So there's Founder Pass. And then I think Founder Product Pass. Hunt. Yeah, I think Product Hunt still has theirs as well. Um, and so you can post stuff. Product Hunt has an LTD thing? They have like a deal site. Um, oh. So they have like a, like a discounted deal site. So Founder Pass and them. Um, and then... You could also like one really easy way for you to just like these are, this is an LTD, but in general, it's just a good way to get inbound. Go yeah. to every company that you can find that has a perks section in their site. Okay. So um, like, for instance, my Planet Fitness app has like a perk section. That's probably not your target audience, but, you know, like sure. lots of memberships always have that. So deal like the HR company, they'll have a perk section. Um, so you go to like all these different companies and obviously try and find companies that you think will have like similar audiences to you, like people that are more technical or a little bit more like indie hacker vibes um, yeah. and go find their, their discount and deal section inside of the, you can just sign up for these things and go look at them, contact whoever runs that at the company and say, Hey, we want to post a code in your deal section. Like they will all say yes, because it's, it just makes That's them look true. better, right? It only helps them. Um, so like we did this with Yak where we would just go to like every single company that had a perk section on their website. Um, okay. VCs, like so many VCs will do this. Um, so like all of your top tier VCs offer like perks and discounts to all of their portfolio companies. And okay. you can do the same thing there. And you just give them like, hey, we're giving you 30% off or 20% off, whatever the number is, uh, exclusively to your you know people. Yeah. Um, and you just make them a unique code. Um, and you can just replicate that across a ton of different communities. Um, and it's a really easy way to get, you know, free press essentially. Really? Just like on, is there any, like, is there any way to target all of those perk sites that you're saying? Well, I mean, again, you just want to go through your, um, your audience, right? So, um, Brex and, um, ramp, like these are all startup founders, right? Yeah. Go get perks listed in their perks portal. Um, <laughs> You know, deal. Those are typically startup founders. You know, get that in there, right? So, anywhere that you think is your target audience, try and get a deal posted. Same thing with like Facebook groups. Um, like, I'm part of a Facebook group called like Leverage, I think, and it's all people that are buying like lifetime deals to Zoom and like all this other stuff. Um, he both wow. buys the licenses and then he wow. sells them to his community. I did not know you were bigger in this LTD thing. I really love discount deal seeking. It's a big I part about how I keep money in my bank account. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. Like, what is your take on the actual founders who launch LTDs normally? I mean, I, I think, again, it's all about appearance, right? Because sometimes it, it looks like a last ditch effort. But depending on how you pitch it, it could also look like a 
free marketing app, you know, opportunity, right? You just yeah. don't want to look desperate because that's when people actually see that it devalues the brand because it looked right. like a desperate attempt. And that is where I, we clearly won, but like having the YouTube where people could go back and look at all the videos and yep. go like, oh yeah, this, they're serious. They've, they ha- they've barely launched this. They had a beta community. They had this four months ago, literally building in public, weirdly enough, like saved us in that route. Like yeah. putting shit out there for the 20 people who would view the videos a year ago. And now it's two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred, a thousand, three thousand. We got things with thousands of views now. And you're like, like, I love that. I'm indebted for that. And it's like, cool. Being such a visual platform, like it makes sense that we're on a visual platform for like yeah. news and demos and things that we're doing and sharing. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the clever, clever, clever way. Of like, dude, I don't care about the, I want to now per, like grow based on this hatred towards Zapier. Like I, dude, I, I love, I love, dude, I, I'm dressing for revenge. You know what I mean? Like Taylor Swift. Hey, if, if you've got, uh, if you've got something that's motivating you, clatch onto it that. Is, dude, it is. It like every it. time I get like a Zapier sucks comment on YouTube, I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the sucky part about it, man, was that I know Wade. Right? Mm. I know him. He is literally, we have talked multiple times on video, like shared emails back and forth. And like it, so I took it personal. You know what I mean? Like I literally, and our app was in this their store for a year and a half. Yeah, it's crazy. It is insane to me to be. I, I took it and then it, for it to come at the time it came was like, oh, dude, this is just like, how could this not be personal? Right. It, I mean, it certainly looks personal. I Hard, I, I, hard, hard to think it isn't otherwise. I mean, unless it was just some guy at Zapier that thought he was doing his job and didn't even bring it up to you. Know, oh, sure. Yeah, there's always that, but that's right. why we appealed it. So whoever, right, right, right. and then they were dicks like, about it. Yeah. yeah, and then they were like, "No," and I go, "You've got to be." Ki-. I remember talking with Kyle, going like, "You've got to be f-ing kidding me! Yeah. You've got to be kidding me! Why would they take?" It's not like they stopped it from. I'm curious, what what are your what would you say your top use cases on the desktop app are? Like, what are people doing it for? Instagram automation. Big time, big time, insta- big time social stuff. And it helps that it's desktop there because it's obviously like a resident. Like that's the other thing that I would do is like, again, try and identify who your top, like what your top use cases are and try and figure out like an ICP from that, right? So maybe yeah, it's yeah, marketers, yeah. maybe it's like social media managers, right? And then go find Facebook groups and communities that are just those people. Go to the group admin, message them, and say, hey, we want to offer a discount to all of your members. All 30,000 members will get 30% off you know, our platform, and here's why we think it'll be really good for your community. That's a really great way to get people in kind of like super quick. Wait, say that. Say it. Okay. I know this is recorded, but I was kind of on the first part of what you were saying, and I blanked out of it. So you just- identify your top use cases. Yeah, yeah. So like maybe if, it, if it's Instagram, right? So like it could be maybe it's uh, web scraping and data analysis. And it's like, okay, I should go to the data scientist community. Or if it's like it's okay. Instagram automation and social media posting, it's like, okay, so then marketers and social media managers go find like Facebook groups and Reddit communities, message the mods and say, hey, we'd like to offer an exclusive discount to your community you know, here's the link, here's the promo code, and they'll just post about it. And it goes to 30,000 people on Facebook. And now you have this free distribution network. And all you have to do is add, add a discount. Okay. So, yeah, dude. So essentially, it's like people that like deals and here, like, uh, like literally blowing up. I mean, we, I guess that's a good, we could take, because it, it is very horizontal right now. It's like it's so horizontal, it would be venture capital scary. It is VC horiz. It's so horizontal, VCs are like, this is so horizontal. Right? I mean, I think that that's not something you would necessarily ever see. Customer, right as you're coming in, man. Nice. Boom.
Boom. Those are the right uh, notifications. You like to see those. Better than sex is what I tell my wife. Oh, there you go. Well, I'm sorry for your wife. <laughs> I'm sorry for my wife, too, a lot of times. So <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> Wait, oh, quickly, quickly. The last thing. Do you know of anyone in the no-code automation space that is an inf- This is literally one of the things I wanted to ask. But do you know anyone that's in any way relevant anymore? Just anyone it, that comes it, to it mind? Was like, it was such a like weird period of time where that yeah. was like such a loud thing. Right. Right, that's and what, I feel like it's really died down I know, a lot. I know that's literally. I was like, "You're the only. You are the only person who I have a well at, any relationship with, let alone the one we have." Which is like, I don't remember anyone that was like that is currently doing the same stuff successfully. Yeah, like that would actually do something. You know, like yeah. like the that landscape has changed a lot. Yeah. Um, okay. There's, I, I would definitely say though, like, um, there's some official ways to do like TikTok influencers. And then mm-hmm. there's kind of like the guerrilla marketing method of like just go out there, search, and try and find people that are doing it. I would okay. definitely try and find influencers that way because honestly, I feel like the Twitter no code thing has really died. Like it was okay. huge like two, three years ago, and it's just not where it was uh, anymore. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I'll look. All right. Love you, man. All right, dude. You too, man. Peace.